Wearing a mask to protect from a virus was common sense in the medical community, even before the COVID. However, during the COVID-19 pandemic, there is interesting that many politicians flaunt their influence and power and refuse to wear one. What causes this phenomenon? In American history, wearing a mask was recommended by the government to safeguard public health against the second wave of the 1918 influenza pandemic. Hundreds of people were arrested for not wearing masks in public spaces. A dissenting group of people, including preeminent physicians and legal experts, started rumors that mask wearing was ineffective. The officials ended mandatory mask wearing in February of 1919. There is a group of people who believe that based on the US Constitution, the government should not dictate their medical choices. I'm an American and I feel like I should be able to do what I want to. Fighting COVID is not only about fighting the virus, but it is also a war against misinformation. To better manage public communication in crisis, the US government issued the Crisis Emergency Risk Communication Guide to provide suggestions to officials. It mentions a very key aspect, make sure the spokesperson be first to speak, be right, and be credible. Donald Trump used to be the prime spokesperson regarding COVID. Trump's views and recommendations often contradicted those of health experts, which made the situation even worse. You cannot escape God, not even with the mask or six feet. You're going down with it. Mask wearing became a highly political issue, especially when the COVID-19 outbreak met the presidential election. Society was divided into two factions. Trump supporters, who insist wearing a mask is individual freedom, and those of non-Trump supporters, who looked at the broader implications of the health crisis and the word mask. As a result, mask wearing was a visual representation of one's political stance, which could easily provoke conflicts in society and ultimately did great harm to the U.S. public health. In fact, as a health authority, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have changed their recommendation for mask mandates several times, which undermined its credibility. As the Delta virus rapidly spread, COVID-19 cases in the U.S. returned to the pre-vaccination levels. A total of 98.2% of the U.S. population, around 325 million people, lived in counties considered to have high or substantial COVID-19 transmission. Recently, states such as Texas and Florida have passed laws to prevent statewide mask mandates and make mask usage optional, which causes controversy. On August 18th, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who banned mask mandates, has tested positive for the virus himself. You can't wake a person who is pretending to be asleep. This battle must be won with the time and the science, not politics.